what are you guys training for that actually happens in real life? Or maybe you even have a student that's gone through who unfortunately has had to present a firearm in a self-defense situation. Like what, what, what actually goes down when, when a firearm needs to be presented? Yeah. Well, statistically, um, you know, self-defense shootings do happen at close range. Um, you know, statistically inside, inside 20 feet, um, which is where, you know, the, the, the 21 foot rule, uh, comes from now the 21 foot rule is a good rule of thumb, but I consistently teach people to fire, you know, accurately at less than that distance. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that, that period of time, you know, it all happens inside two, three seconds. And yeah, two seconds in a gunfight is a lifetime. I mean, quite literally for somebody. Yeah. Um, so, you know, yeah, obviously, yes, you need to be able to, to, to apply that skill quicker, um, based on near proximity. Um, yeah, the further away you are, the little, you know, little, you got a little more time to, to work. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, but yeah, it, it, it's all, and, and this is all uh, supported by, by Department of Justice and FBI and, and Homeland Statistics. Um, you know, it's all inside 20 feet. It's all close range. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of that is, I mean, this is not a duel, right? I mean, you don't get a lot of, you don't get a lot of warning, um, you know, and if you're responsible about it and you're taking the proper steps, you do have to compliance test a little bit. I mean, you can't just go waving the damn gun around. Right. Um, you know, that's not responsible. It's not legal. It's not, it's not any of those things. Um, and so, you know, it, it's not like you have an awful lot of warning to act and quite frankly, smart criminals, you know, if that's what you're dealing with, aren't going to give you a lot of time. They're right. going to get up close and personal to where they've got the best opportunity in their mind to actually, you know, actually perpetrate that crime. Um, you know, because they're, they're, they're not getting into these situations to, to get shot. Believe it or not, that's not the motivation. Yeah. Um, you know, cause you know, from what I hear, getting shot sucks. Right. So, you know, I, I, I get it. Never experienced <laughs> it. Yeah. And, and you know, th there are, there are thousands of tragic deaths, uh, every year for certain, you know, whether it's the things that pull on our heartstrings, like a, uh, a school shooting or an accidental death or something of that nature. But I, I've looked up these stats multiple times and kind of parsed them out. And it's like, all right, so the, you know, the CDC or the Justice Department will say there's 40,000 gun deaths in America. Well, 24,000 of those are suicides. And I've mm -hmm. had friends kill themselves, unfortunately, with pills and hanging themselves and yeah. driving their cars off of cliffs. I don't know why I've had so many friends that have committed suicide. I just, I guess I just attract broken people. But like, if you don't have access to a gun, you're going to find a way to kill yourself. So 24 of those 40,000 ish are suicides. And then you go into, you know, police shootings, uh, justified uh, self defense homicides, things of that nature. You know, when you whittle down the numbers and you maybe you take out gun, uh, uh, gang violence, where it's like it's it's 100% confirmed gang on gang, you know, you get right. down to like the tragic loss of lives or the actual murders. Somebody kills their ex wife or their ex wife's new boyfriend or something. You know, you're somewhere around a few thousand gun deaths, which is which is sad, terrifying for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at the other side, how many times is a gun presented in order to stop a crime by a civilian? Or, you know, some lady is getting followed home and is about to be a rape victim and she presents a firearm. Somebody's house is getting uh, broken into and they hear that, you know, that loading of a shotgun, which is the most unique sound probably in the world and probably- It'll get your attention. It'll get your attention and immediately scares off criminals. Like, do you have any idea how many times a gun is presented in a self-defense uh, situation and either- saves life, property, something like that. I mean, the Justice Department has to keep some numbers on this stuff. Well, yeah, and so I don't have the numbers at hand. I know John Lott, um, who wrote a book a number of years ago, More Guns, Less Crime, uh, just did a study, uh, just compiled the statistics John on, Lott? on that. L -O -T John Lott, L-O-T-T. All right, we'll have Chris um, look it up, see if you can find the new John Lott study on how often people use a gun in self-defense or to stop a crime. Yeah. Well, and, and so, I mean, his, his, his stats were compelling. Um, but the other piece of that is, you know, you can't account for how, how do you prove a thing didn't happen? Right. 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 Um, and an awful lot of people, you know, while they are never going to report it, you know, prevent things without any fanfare. Right. Right. 
the problem goes away, there's nothing to report, right? And yeah. I don't really want to have to go tell the cops that I just pulled a gun because I don't know what happens next. And I don't need a lawyer and I don't need the problem. Yeah, let's say hypothetically in the state of California for decades, you couldn't get a concealed permit. Um, mm -hmm. You couldn't get a concealed weapons permit in Los Angeles, although now that's been overturned by the state and the federal Supreme Court, which is awesome. But let's just say hypothetically, you were a jeweler in downtown LA and you couldn't get a concealed carry permit, but maybe you chose to carry a gun anyway, and somebody's following you to your car, and you pull it out, and they take off. Um, nobody's going to report that, because you don't want to tell the LAPD that you were breaking the first law of you weren't supposed to carry right. a gun. So there's yeah, probably so, hundreds of thousands know, like, of those instances. 